Hello amazing people. So today we're gonna do a little bit different thing. I got a little package, a little care package, yeah. The background is a mess, I don't care. It's an air, I'm an air software. Today I'm gonna do a thing. I got a thing from Black Leaf Airsoft right here. Black Leaf Airsoft on Instagram. They create custom guns and custom things. But the reason why I got contacted by them is because I have the MCW and I've been wanting a drop stock for quite a while, so they helped me getting a drop stock. So, yeah, this video is sponsored by Black Leaf Airsoft, but I'm going to be testing the drop stock and installing it and see what I think about it. You all know that I am not the best tech in the world, so thank you for sponsoring the video and uh, I guess it's sponsored. Yeah, thank you for sending me this stuff to test out and see if we can destroy it or not. It seems. It seems quite a, quite sturdy. It needs to be sturdy when I'm playing with it, so yeah. Black leave yourself on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Go follow them. Links in the description. Hey people, I'm sorry, quick disclaimer here. The quality of the video footage and everything in the beginning with light is super amazing, but for some reason my studio light just turns off in the middle of the fucking video so I'm sorry about that anyways I asked Black Leaf Airsoft I don't want me to redo it I want a real like a real first view like like how I feel and think about it and if I had to remake it obviously I'm gonna have to kind of fake it so we're not interested in that so please enjoy bear with the whole video quality in the end of the video but um I think it get adjust anyways enjoy the video and yeah won't happen again I want to give you all a tip a real quick tip if you don't have the special thing you need to to have to get your, uh, your buffer tube off, you can use something like this. Just be careful so you don't scratch it off like crazy. I scratch off mine a little bit, but I don't care because I like it battle scarred. But when you take it off, screw it off, be sure you don't damage the little uh, spring back here. Make sure it doesn't fall out. Make sure it doesn't damage it. I learned that from the crazy tech he told me that. Don't, don't, don't damage it. That is, uh, that's not good. So yeah, let's get this off. I already pre-screwed it off because I had a ton of problems getting mine off. Mine was super tight. This is my um, Gorilla SU. Let's see how we're gonna make this work together. I have the video from Black Leaf Airsoft on my other screen over here. Now we have this. Now we're gonna put on the first part. The first part is this, I see, this one. So, when they wrote to me and said it was 3D printed, I got kind of afraid because I break everything. So, okay, you just screw it on. Okay. I wonder if it has to be threaded in. Let's see. Okay, it just screws right on. Easy peasy. You see, there's a huge room for the airline, like the, the FGL. Is that what it's called? The line. Oh. Are you supposed to just keep doing it until you can't do more? Can't sp I don't think you're supposed to. Let's see, how long do they put it in? Let's see. I don't think, because if I do it all the way I can, it, it stops right here. I don't think I'm supposed to screw it in all the way. Let's see. No, they kind of stop in the middle, I think. Like. They stop right here. Okay, there we go. It's in here, and then they put the line through it. Let's see. Ah, this is smart, I like this. So obviously, some of you are afraid if you can fit it. This is the dummy test. Like, if I can do, guys, if I can do this, everyone can do this, just saying. Okay, now you need to take this through, through here. So this part, I'm trying with a new light setup, I really hope it works. Has to go through, wait. So this has to go through there. There we go, we have to take the line through this. Then they push this in here. Okay, I see this is hard again now. That's good, that's good. And we have to push it all the way on that is a that's a very very tight fit and then we have a screw a screw to put it on that is a bit 
I have bits for days. Do I have the right one? <laughs> Can you imagine not having the right one? That would be awkward. That's the right one. I have the right bit here. You have to screw this in. And I guess that is to keep it tight, completely tight. I love drop stocks. I have always really liked it. It looks super cool. Make sure you don't ruin the threading on the screw. Okay, so I don't know how much you want to tighten this. Okay, there we go. It's super tight. This is not, it's not moving. Okay, so now we have that on. Now we need to do the part I was afraid of, the buffer tube. This, so the normal MTV, I should probably tell this first, the normal MTW buffer tube does not work. You're like, why doesn't it work? Well, there's not a fucking hole. There's like a hole in, but there's no hole here. I mean, you can just cut it off, I guess. Probably don't, just buy a, another buffer tube. I got this for like free, so yes. But now they say you need to, uh, now I need to connect the FCU, I guess. I should connect the FCU. I don't think I need the extender actually on the FCU. I don't think so, but we will see. So, I mean, that's a, I guess that's a test too. I learned one thing there, so if it's too hard to put in, you're probably not doing it the right way. I already like the look of the drop here. Like, like I really like the look of a drop stock. I don't know why. And it's gonna be really comfortable with a lot of different things. Okay, let's see. So we put, the FCU in the drop stock. I mean, I can try to do this. I think that's severely overkill, but I guess then we will see. I'm just gonna try to put it in. I think this will be severe. <laughs> I don't think it's good to run that many wires, actually. I think it's severely overkill. You know what, I'm gonna take it out. I don't like that. Okay, we'll put this in. Let's see, how do we put it in? So this way. Like, um, do it do like this, and then, yeah, that's good. So I fold over the FCU and the cord. Does not fit in? Oh, that was a, that was a tight fucking fit. Okay, I actually think, let's see here. Can it fit in? Okay, it fits in super easy like this. Okay, I have an idea. This is actually a good, uh, so this ring, like down here, it's way, like it's way um, thicker. Like it's, it's, it's not as, as wide as it is here, apparently. Yeah, I can see that. So maybe I can push it past that. Do you want to push it past that? I'm not sure. So I'm going to take this off. Yeah, sorry. The video was supposed to be really short, but I'm just talking about all the things and problems or whatever you might face. I never claim to be some crazy good tech, so yeah. Okay, so we take this thing in here. Okay, there we go. So how do we do this? So I see it has like serrations or something in the side. Let's see. Oh, this. That's not easy to see down here. So I'm gonna use my phone for some light. So I've never installed a buffer tube before. So this is gonna be a first time for a lot of things here. A lot of virginities is being taken right now. <laughs> That's fucking awkward, sorry. There we go. Okay, so I had to screw this in a little bit, like out, I guess you could say, not in. I had to screw it out. Oh, I like that. That's nice. That feels so weird that it's down there, but it's nice. So. I was gonna use this originally, but obviously that doesn't fit for a lot of reasons. So I got a extension for the thing. Great, okay. Let's see, what do I have to use here? So, they don't give you this screw, like this thing to the, like they don't give you this, this part. So I guess that's something you need to get yourself. And I guess it needs to go in like this. I think so. But is it not gonna go like deep in somewhere? Let's see, this room there, in there, I guess. Okay, so I need to get this in. I 
I think I'm screwing something in. Let's see, is it hitting something? No. Ah! Okay, that is tight. Let's see. That. Okay, for the people who's like, is this sturdy? I think it's pretty sturdy. Now we have this. This is so nice, man. What the? What the heck? I think it's not. Well, I have a friend who did some math calculations. If he is a 400 IQ, as we think he might be. Nah, okay, I cannot say that. If he's a above average IQ, because I don't want to boost his ego too much. He said the thing can hold to like 900 kilos. Like, so it's just about me if I fall on it. So that's great. Yeah, I, I probably think I need this. So if I fall on top of the thing, it might not snap. I don't think I can get it in like this. I think I need to take it out again. God damn it. And I need to install it like this in here. Like you see like this, so I have room. Let's see here. Let's push down. Can we have room for a battery also? Okay, it's pushed down a lot. I'm, oh, see here. How do we do with this now? Let's see, when it's in here. Okay, push down. Close is easy, there's plenty of room. Okay, that's good, that's good. So there's plenty of room. I like that, hmm. Okay. So, let's get the gun back together, I guess. Shoot. Yeah, sorry, I'm buying it right now. You, you want, do we want to be sure that it actually shoots? I mean, we can, we can be sure. Let's see here. Hmm, that's the MCW. Oh my God, it's so nice to like, it's so nice to find zero now. I mean, we will test with mask and everything. So this is how it looks right now. Let's see with a Mac, with a fucking mean ass EPM one Mac. Just be like, play. That's nice. You can like, instant zero. It's like instant zero, like. What the heck? That's nice. Like, the, the, the small, like, you literally move it like one bubble tube length, I think. That's nice. Like. Okay. So, I don't play with dye mask a lot. I used to love playing with dye mask, but uh, I have a yellow one in right now. I need to get a white, a white thing. A white glass. Dye hit me up. <laughs> Let's see here how it is too. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so nice. I have to get used to it, but it's so nice, man. Like that little thing. Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's no BBs inside, no air connected. Oh my god. Are you are you fucking kidding me? That look? Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty nice. I love that look of the like MCW. <laughs> It's so easy to get in. Like it's so easy, you know, when you use mesh and everything. It's like, it's like it's without. Anyways, I don't know why I'm so surprised. I mean, it's just nice, okay? Just let me, just let me have my excitement, okay? Don't be, don't be weird. Don't be mean to me. Simple brains, simple satisfactions. We installed. Yeah, YouTube is gonna demonetize the hell out of this video, by the way. For everybody who doesn't know, like, people, when you do, like, gun modifications to an airsoft weapon, even though it's an airsoft weapon, they think it's a real, real weapon. It's not, it's used plastic BBs. Anyways, this gun is fucking rad. It's already a cool gun. Now we have this drop stock gun. I love it. Thank you, Blackie, Black Leaf Airsoft, for sending this drop stock. It's super fucking cool and it's it's so cool, man. I like it. Anyways, if you have problems 
you know, you might not have problems aiming, but it's definitely gonna help you. I already have a pretty big rise on my Vortex, but like this little thing, you're like, oh, I'm not a speedballer. Well, I'm not too, well, people would say I am, but I'm not, or maybe I am, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what I am. Anyways, I love this gun, okay? And this drop stock is, is super cool. And Well, if that doesn't, it's not gonna snap, okay? I love it. Anyways, as I told you, YouTube is gonna completely destroy this video because I'm modding my airsoft toy. So please leave a like, a comment, write something cool to Black Leaf Airsoft in the comments below. Oh, this is fucking cool. It is cool. It's really cool. I like it. So yeah. Subscribe, man. Help, help, help a bro out. Bye bye.